This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Time to catch a little tiger by its toe. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we went to Shanghai. Zhu Jin got to hang out for a while, be the leader. Uh, you know, hung out, bought some stuff, talked to everyone. But then all of a sudden, he went to meet an old friend. And he met, met an old uh, ally, or an old fiend enemy. You know, met an ally, got, a, uh, got an enemy at the same time. Can't get him one or the other. We fought him off, but then Yuri came in to save him before he got killed, and now he ran off to his master. So now you got to chase after, well, not him specific. Well, I guess technically we're chasing after him because we got to go to a temple in Wuhan to stop them from destroying the white tiger, so they can start their little Taoist magic thingy. So, but anyway, let's buy some stuff before we go on because we got that star card, so now we can reduce the cost by 20%. Uh, so let's buy a couple of studded caps for our weaker party members. And then we'll buy a couple of, whoops. Well, that's easy. Yeah, let's try again for a further. I was actually gonna buy more stuff, but yeah, we'll just do this at the same time. Cause yeah, now that we got the uh, star card, we can now go up to 20% off on stuff. So might as well. It does get a little faster and a bit smaller. So you have to keep that in mind when you're doing this. So, uh, but it's definitely a way to save on money. That's for sure. And I also want to buy some Western belts to make our, our uh, co more combat-oriented characters a bit a bit more effective. So let's discount those. And unfortunately, you can't. I mean, you can reduce the the judgment a little bit on these with like the pocket watch, but not by much. It still it still goes fast at a certain point. So, but yeah, wait till we get to like all the cards, and then we can get a huge discount. But it goes super fast, and I'm not very good at, it, but I'll try to keep it. Um, I think we also got a couple items in between the last episode. I wonder if I can actually look at the items without having to buy them. I don't think I can. Nope, okay. Because I wanted to show off, because I never bought like the leather cap or a casual belt or anything like that to show their descriptions off, but I kind of don't want to buy something just just because, you know what I mean? Uh, so we'll hold off on that. I don't need to show the descriptions for everything in the game, but... Yeah, I think last episode we got a, like a mana leaf here, so or mana seed. Yeah, we're starting to get stuff that now extends our restoration of stuff to the next level because we're going to start getting more HP and levels and stuff like that. The seed of the mystical herb, the mana leaf, born only once every two years and having a hard shell, dried under moonlight, restores lost mystical strength. Now let's go over the equipment. And I'll change out this road. We don't need the paralysis protection for now. We'll need it eventually, but not right now, so... Uh, let's see, Western Belt. The favorite belt of Frontier Hero Billy, it, raise, it raises attack power. The red stones set into the buckle are said to have a strong mystical power. And then, got the caps. A cap made of thin metal studded with rivets. The rivets are placed in accordance with the principles of Feng, Sh Feng Shui. It raises defensive power. Alright, let's equip the Western Belt on so we can get a uh, um, bit of an attack boost. Give the uh, protection to uh, Alice there. And we'll give an attack item to Margaret. And we'll take that, take that off and give a, we'll give her the bandana because I don't think I need any of these other items. Because we'll give her the bandana since her defense is a little bit weaker than uh, Yuri. Actually, Alice is well because of the stead power, but yeah, their defenses aren't that much too different between each other. Eh, I need to buy her another. I could just buy her. Well, actually, I could just. Let's see. Actually, will let me equip the bandana too? No, it's a yeah. In this game, you can't do, you can't do equip the same item of the same grouping. If that makes sense. So if it's an attack item with the belts, you can only attack one, equip one belt. You can't equip multiple belts. If that makes sense. So I mean, yeah, we could have give her the attack power. Why not? I mean, I'm you shouldn't be attacking with Alice. That would be just silly. Uh, most of the people here, I believe, have. Uh, same dialogue, so we can skip a lot of these guys. So. There is a shop now we can access, though, in town, so let's go to that. Or we uh, we could talk to him, but he wasn't selling anything at the time. They say the guy who's controlling Shanghai is gone, and that means I got things to sell. Alright, now we can buy new items for everyone, yeah. Uh, luckily, we don't have to buy the Pilgrim Staff, because we got that for free, but yeah, we can buy non boost pistols, studded harness, studded bustier. So let's buy one of uh, everything for everyone because we're going to need it for the next section. <coughs> so let's discount these things so we can save some some cash because these things add up really fast in this game. 
if you've noticed, like the expense on some of these items, and we don't have a ton of cash because I haven't, been, I haven't been grinding for that type of stuff. So that's why I, uh, I'm trying to keep grinding to a minimum. I'll need to do that eventually for certain encounters, just to, sh just to, you know, c so I can actually do them. But if I do any grinding, I'll mention it. But I'll try not to do it, just to keep it down a, a notch. So it's by your Nanbu pistol. I do like the concept of this trying to get discounts, but they make it, you know, you know, a bit of a challenge to do it. Like if you want to just buy the stuff straight up, you can. But if you have the, uh, um, you know, the the cards, or if you have the, uh, you know, you're good at pressing buttons, you know, you can try it. Oof, that was close. I gotta gotta be careful on that. Yeah, I'm bar I barely have enough money for to, for all this stuff. That's why I try not to buy too much stuff. I try to get what the game gives me. And you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just sell stuff at this point in the game? Um, because you can now raise the cost of selling stuff. Well, I want to, if I can, I want to save that for when we get all the cards. And I just say, uh, sell all that stuff back to back, like at the same time. Because you can get, I think it's five cards by the end of the game. Um, and I want to do that instead so I can get the most out of all my items. So anyway, we get the Seal Claw. A favorite weapon among Eastern Assassins. It's an usually long blade and frightening appearance. Makes a weapon to be feared. All right, so we'll put that. And then we get the Tome of the Moon for Alice. Ancient book of magic encased in a black velvet color, cover. It is written with elegant calligraphy and embossed with gold leaf. All right, and then we get the Nambu Pistol for Margaret. Automatic handgun with a unique rounded guard, trigger guard. Improved version of the Type 94 with small recoil and very high accuracy. So, and then we'll equip that stuff to uh, uh, Zhu Zhen. I kind of wish you could equip Zhu Zhen, even if he can't be in your group or wh whoever your party member is. But unfortunately, we do have to talk to Mei Yan to, uh, or Mei Wan to uh, do that, to swap out party members. So you can't equip them without them actually being in an inventory. Guzzling Ray. The champion's army is everywhere. Darn it, I'll drink it. Okay. As if you ever need a reason to drink up. Alright. Oh uh, yeah, we were talking to you last time, so let's swap you out with Zhu Jin. And we're actually going to be using all the party members here soon anyway. So this whole separating them isn't really that big of a deal. So yeah, we already got the Pilgrim stuff last episode, so the only thing I need to equip with him is the um, studded harness. Stunted Harness, a harness sold off by special airborne troops of a certain country. A wonderful bargain, too heavy and big for women, but dangerously attractive when worn on bare skin by men. Ooh la la. And then we got the uh, studded bustiers for the ladies. Chic studded bustier, designed for defense as well as good looks. Although lightweight, it is still somewhat cumbersome to move around in. And it's even got the boob armor. Now, we, uh, from what I understand, the whole idea of like boob plating or whatever isn't completely ridiculous from what I have understood on experts and stuff like that. I don't know all the details. I would look it up if you're curious. Whoops. I actually... Well, I don't want to get extra puncture, but... Because, frankly, I save that stuff for the very end of the game. Uh, yeah, I want to equip you with... Uh, the... Studded cap for that. I guess we'll leave everything else on. I mean, I guess I could give him the leather belt. I mean, not really a priority... Yeah, we'll just leave the spikes on. Uh, let me tr let me see. We'll put uh, Margaret and Jujin in the party. I won't leave Al Alice out for too long. It's just, as a combatant, she's kind of like, you know, not that good. At least in certain cases, anyway. Mrs. Jin's doing pit fights behind this curtain. Pit fights, huh? What's a pit fight? Oh, Yuri, look, Father is feeling so much better now. And it's all thanks to you and your friends. He says he wants to use his power again, and he just won't listen. Watch out when you talk to him. So, if we talk to Mr. Jin in the back, we get, a, we get a little extra, like, side quest we can interact with if we want. Since then, I've been thinking, what could I do with those with my abilities? And then I decided to use summoning powers. Now the pit facts are back. I'm not as strong as I was before, but I'm sure I could train you people. Let me explain the pit fights. In a pit fight, you bet money on a fight with a monster. You fight that monster that I summon. I'll reward you according to your number of wins. Do you want to participate in the pit fights? Uh, not right now. 
Is that so? Well, then, come and take the challenge anytime you like. I'd rather gain a few extra levels before I start messing with that. I'll, I mean, you can do that now if you want to. I just like waiting till later to do that, so. All right, good luck, Yuri. I think that's it. I think we can go. So let me go ahead and save it, and we'll skedaddle to Wuhan to uh, save this white tiger. And today, we're going to test out which party members work better in certain groups. You'll, probably, you'll be pretty obvious to find out who works well with who, but... Uh, well, we'll get to it when we get to it, I guess. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, not much, uh, you know, for Shanghai being as big as it is as a city, that's pretty much all there is to it, is just this, so. Let us leave, and we head on to the temple runes itself. Hmm, temple runes indeed. It's old, but it certainly is a large and grand temple. It's a large, grand old fa flag. Oh wait, that's something else. Never mind. This is the nine courts of Jiwan, uh, Kiwan, the sanctuary of Wuhan, and the apex of the nine heavens. Taoist magic. Ugui and his cronies aren't here yet. You think they would have already been here? But I don't see the Japanese army around here either. It's almost like it's almost like those two there have some secret they're not willing to test. Don't things seem <coughs> don't things seem a little too quiet? Okay, they're not gonna say anything, huh? They know we're on to them. All right then. Whoops, I actually didn't mean to walk out. <coughs> I do I I like the uh, I do like the uh, the uh, music for this place. Well, it's like, what's around here? Oops, I actually didn't mean to walk that direction. Whoops. I'm meaning to get. Let's see if we can find it. Whoops. It's around. I think it's... It must be in this screen or whatever. There it is. You received a lottery ticket. Yeah, there was a chest around here. I was trying to remember what room it was in, so... What's this? This place gives me the creeps. Hey, Pops, there ain't nobody here. Are you really sure this is the place? You didn't get mixed up or anything. Give me a break. I haven't gone that scene all yet. To proceed from here, let's see. Oh, right. I need to chant the unlocking rites. Hmm. And, they being? Don, I can't seem to remember them. Uh, how did it go? Kind of reminds me of the scene in Lord of the Rings when they're trying to get into the uh, mines of Moria or whatever. He's like, ah, friend, you know. Hey, kid, can you go look around a bit while I try to remember the chant? Well, Zhuzhen is old, so... Come on, you really... Don't really go see all in this. Yeah, apparently she did, so... All right, well, we'll leave him to his own thing while we walk around, so... All right, let's see who's around the area. Anyone around here at the front? Nope. Okay. Now let's go into one of the other rooms until he remembers, so... Oh, there's a... Uh, Kato and Kiwashima. Hello. Oh boy, the air sure is chilly. You folks be careful now. By the way, I bought some items in Shanghai. Let me know when you need them. They're not free, of course. What kind of items do you need? By the way, he what for whatever reason he just he he all of a sudden bec doesn't become a lottery member anymore, so you can't do the lottery with him. You can only do it during that part of the boat. So hopefully you got the items you wanted to when you did. So maybe uh, Kiwashima got onto him and he couldn't be a member anymore or something like that. I don't know. I think he's just got all the standard stuff, if I recall. Now I got a few items there. Uh, Leonardo's bear. That will be something we'll want to buy eventually or get uh, later in the game, but right now it's not a huge priority. We could have used that in the previous fight, although I never actually died to... Oh, wait, no, I died... One character died to the instant death during the that one fight, but that was it. Um, yeah, we got whole new enemies. Or not enemies, items, so... But not right now, but glad you have the option. Anyway, if we check this out, we get a Talisman of Mercy, so... Not that we shouldn't be dying too much, but you never know. Whoops. Did I not, uh, stand on the thing? Okay, I was like, uh, I thought I was standing on top of this thing, but, uh... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong? Maybe I'm crazy? Don't call me lazy, or whatever? So, but, alright. Anyway. Let's see what Kawashima has to say. The Japanese army hasn't arrived yet. I think luck may be on our side. 
Yeah, you just told him to hold back because you want us to take care of it. We know. Well, we as the player know. I don't think there's anything else here. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, let's just go back to him. I was trying to remember if there was any other items there. I don't think so for now. I think in the next next areas we will, but... All right, let's talk to Zhu Zhen. Have you remembered, buddy? All right, I got it. Now stand back, everyone. Here goes. Well, that's the same chant you've done before. So what's so different about that? Hmm? 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 Oh, there you go. Oh, that must, that must be Roma. Sure does bring back memories. So the real deal is waiting for us inside, eh? But that's right. Let's go. All right, time to go down. Down, down to Goblin Town. What? I can't go down. Yeah, I can. I just, just wasn't paying attention. So, hmm. Well then, looks like a little cavern cave thingy. So, oh, another safe spot, of course. That. What was that noise? Oh, what the? Enemies, perhaps. I doubt it. Whoa, it's a child. Meow, meow. Wait, that's that's Keyfang. What? Dot, 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 dot. And. <laughs> what do you mean, and? What kind of response is that? I'm Meowster Keyfang. I guard this temple. Nice to meet y'all. And? Meow! You can't insult me. I'll kill you. Oh, lovely character, aren't you? Hey there, Master Zhao, uh, Keyfang. Or, well. Uh, Usually it's Key Fang, but I'm gonna say Zhao because I think that works better in this case. Mr. Zhao Fang, you're speaking a whole lot more now, I see. Oh, Zhu Jin, long time to see Meow. <laughs> well, we've come to see his ma uh, master, uh, uh, Kifa. How is the old man anyway? The, me the master knew you'd all be here. He told me to welcome you. That's why I'm here, Meow. Great, how about you take us to him right away? Then use the shortcuts, of course. Yeah, we don't want to go through a dungeon. No way, Meow, you gotta follow the rules to get to the Ravan Palace. Don't be that way, Zhao Feng. I'm sorry, but we just don't have time to play the old man's games right now. If we don't hurry, De Hua's men or the Japanese army will get here. Some Japanese soldiers have been here already. They're all dead now, Meow. Meow, I ain't afraid of no soldiers. Or ghosts, apparently. As happy-go-lucky as ever, eh? If you keep going like that, I may have to turn you back into a cat. No, you can't cheat. Follow the rules, meow. You have to go through the spiritual trials before you enter Nirvana Palace, meow. Spiritual trials? They're like little tests of nerve. They can get rather tricky, though. Here in the Nine Courts of G1, from the Samsara pa Pavilion, further on in. There are three dungeons called the Tan Xian Court, Zhang Palace, and the Niwan Palace. Master Shifa uh, Nirvana Palace is at the end of those dungeons. Only two people can challenge any given location for the first dungeon, Dan Tian Court. Let me guess. I have an idea what's going to happen. Hmm? What? What? You two, you guys go, meow. Hey, the best party members. Uh, no. Uh, well, Yuri's really, I mean, obviously being the main character. Uh, depends on, uh, Zhu Jin, depends on the situation. Hey, now, kitty, why'd you choose us for? I'm the one doing the talking around here, Meow. All right, Meow, your trial begins. Meow, Meow. Your items have been sealed away by Master Xiao Fang. Item sealed. You can't use items to restore HP or status analogies in the battle, but they can be used in the field. Yeah. Well, I don't use items that often anyway. Well, except for Alice is concerned, but... Huh, where'd my gear go? God, do we really have to do this? Okay, then. Crossover to Dian Chiang Court. Meowch. Luck to ya. But yeah, these are the trials, so we had to separate into two different parties. We had got the guys and the gals. And guess who has the hardest time doing all this, despite, you know, her having healing magic. Now, Zhu Jian will eventually get a skill that'll help us 
in this. For now, we just have to base it on our abilities and magic. And like I said, we can't use these items in battle, but we can use them in the field, which is where I usually use them anyway, so that's not that big of a deal to me. You'll probably not even, if you know what you're doing, you probably won't even notice the fact you can't use your items. Be careful, I'll pray for your safe return. I know this is Ruzhen's second trial. You can't cheat, okay? Meow. I'll be watching, meow. You can't use them, but I'll sell you some items. Meow, you want some items? Let's see, I think he sells the basic stuff, if I recall. Uh, let's see, yeah, you can buy the equipment from him here if you forgot to earlier. Oh, did I forget to equip you with the bustier? Well, I can do that when I switch over to that party. Uh, yeah, nothing we need to buy here. I mean, if anything, I'd buy healing items, but... How you doing, uh, Margaret? You can't use any items, sonny boy, so be sure to use your head. Eh, uh, that's a challenge for Yuri, that's for sure. This is probably one of the few areas in the game where we might actually, depending on how things go, the malice might actually build up quite a lot, and we won't be able to clear it out, so be aware of your malice rating in this place. But of course, that also means a lot of uh, a lot of cutting out uh, battles in this place. So, but there are quite a few enemies. So, anyway, we get a, we get a uh, tent in this place. So, and this area from uh, for the most part is pretty straightforward. Ooh, what's this? Surprised there was no uh, no monster things here. Oh, I don't. Who has the pedometer? Crap, it's on the girls. Nuts. I was actually going to equip it on the guys, but, uh, well, too late now. I don't mind losing out some pedometer. I could always off screen grind a spot if it really comes down to it. So, yeah, we just step on these. We warp to the next area. Green will take us to another part of the same area, and then yellow will take us to the next section of the dungeon, if that makes sense. So, yeah, one of our first battles. All right, what do we got here? Got ourselves some uh, pythons. They are, I think they're fire, if I recall. Oh yeah, I guess I could have changed. Oh, I forgot to heal myself in between fights. No. Oh. So I guess I will be using some healing items. And you know, I thought I'd forgotten something in between. I was like, like going to the inn and healing, but. Like I said, it's not gonna hurt me too badly, so. Ah, dang it. I hate when I do that. Really, I shouldn't be attacking with, uh, uh, uh you know, Zhujian anyway. Should be just defending with him or... Ow. Yeah, I'll just attack with you. There we go. Again, a level for Zhujin. He learns the nourishing potion. Right, let's show that off. Ooh, we've almost got a chance to learn fire. Um, summon, so. All right, let's look at those special skills. The nourishing potion. Restores targets to HP and cures paralysis. So yeah, now we can actually heal with Zhujin. So, nice. So he'll be a secondary healer. Alice is still the most effective healer because of her um, uh, chest empty. Yeah, we're gonna start running into those. Uh, because of the cost, because, yeah, Zhuzhen's healing is way too expensive for what that is. All right, got another new enemy here. The uh, Sea Gremlin. I think they're water elemental, if I remember. I don't remember every single enemy and their weaknesses and strengths, so you'll have to forgive me. The stat block, I don't remember. Like, I did, like, in Dark Cloud and other places like that, there's, like, whole detailed like lists online that people have uh, figured out like um, on that but unfortunately Shadow Hearts is one of those games that doesn't really have the same love as those games do so there's not as, there's not as detailed uh, lists of like weaknesses and strength except for when it comes to, like bosses and stuff like that yeah he heals quite a bit the only problem is his healing is really expensive yeah does that uh, creature look a little uh Adult, if you know what I mean. Just, you know, like another enemy in uh, Shin Megami, you know, kind of has a striking resemblance to what this creature's design looks like. And I'm not talking about being a squid, folks. Kid or a squid. You know what it is, folks. I'm not going to say it. Ow. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. The Japanese love to put this stuff in their games. I mean, it is an N rated game, so it's not like. It's not like it. It's not expected. You know. And not quite childish humor either, so. Yeah, nothing we don't have to worry about. I mean, he has that lightning, which does a decent amount of damage, but. There, what do you get? Uh, Alright. That's since they're new enemies. Let's go over the library for them just to show them off. So we got the pythons there. A snake that has grown t to immense proportions from eating buried bodies. It moves freely underground in search of dead bodies or people who are near death. Fire elemental and wind. Uh, sea gremlin. Malicious spirit of a man who drowned on land and transformed. It drips oil from its body and makes its prey slippery. Oil, you say? From its body, you say? Huh. Anyway. That looks like we got ourselves a bit of a mini dungeon around here. We can walk in different directions. So yeah, we can go to these yellow uh, thing. Oh, no. The, sorry, the yellow ones are the ones I want to actually go to. Um, or no, is it... No, the yellow ones tra transport us to a different part of the cavern. The... Uh, we've got the purple ones here. I shall show that off. Yeah, so you teleport us... But if you look, yeah, teleport us to a different part of the cavern, so. Sorry, it's the, yeah, the purple ones change you, yellow ones take you to the next location. Sorry, I'm misremembering my uh, my colors on this, so my apologies. My brain is in a weird spot today. Hey, hey kid. I'll be watching Meow, you can't use them, but I'll sell you some items. Meow, need items? No, not really. Oh, I, I didn't actually mean to say yes. Uh, so the malice has grown, and uh, Yuri gained a level in between that. Uh, it was just a sea gremlin, so we want to go. Uh, this part we want to find a. Um, we want to find a red. Uh, 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 circle to get us out of here. I don't know why my brain just wanted to like not work there for a second. So All right, let's go this way. Get this treasure chest. And then we want to go, whoops, uh, we got a white tiger hair. Did I ever uh, go over that one? White tiger hair. Well, we'll go over it again. A spiritual artifact shaped by the beard of a white tiger, god of four directions. User's attack power is doubled, and the hit area is cut in half. So, I think, uh, yeah. Okay. So, just something like that. So, then we want to go this way. Oh wait, no, wrong. Sorry, wrong direction. I meant to go west. I don't know why I went up that way. So, well, west-ish. You know what I mean? Like this. All right, get that. Yeah, received a bronze dagger. Did I? Uh, I don't think I went over that one because I think that's a different item from the bronze uh, arrowhead, for example. Let's see, where are you? There's dagger. So yeah, we don't have this one. A mystical hunting tool with the same origins as the Bron Arrowhead. You use when you use it doubles the width of the Judgment Ring hit areas for all allies. Yeah, I will use these. I haven't really had to use them too much. It's just one of those things where, um, yeah, it's if you know what you're doing, you don't really need the items, but it, help, it does help you out a little bit. So, all right, let's keep going on. Um, yeah, this is one of those places where you can possibly fight Fox Face if you don't get your malice. Or fight enough enemies, but I want to fight a decent amount of enemies just because you get experience for that. So anyway, yeah, go down that way, empty chest. Go down this way, empty chest, because you know the game just just loves those empty chests. Just loves them. Anyway, we we'll go that way. We can get a talisman of mercy. All right, so I want to go back after getting that. I want to go up. Most of the places I'm not going are dead ends or places that just teleport you back to. Uh, another area, so don't worry about it too much. Alright. And then we want to go... Yeah, we got a mana seed there, and then we want to go this way for a item. Another item, I mean. Alright, we get the bell bracelet. Let me go over that. It's an item. We want to equip this, of course, to uh, Zhuzhen. Uh, let's see, where is it? Bell bracelet. That's the silence ineffectual item, so let's equip that. Because we're going to run across a person who can possibly do that. So, you know, let's do some mana leaves on a Zhu Jin, since we have them. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. And I did, 
I probably could have gone through without using items, but man, yeah, why not? Okay, let's go back and north. And that'll get us out of this place. And one. But where? Where? This way. Yeah, I was, I was just joking there for a second. All right, we hit that. By this way, all the other places I didn't go to, yeah, either um, have either yellow ones that take you to a different place, or all right, we gained a level for Zhu Jin, and we also gained um, enough for uh, enough information, information, enough souls to to get the fire um, summon. But for now, we're gonna hold off on that. So <clears throat> I'll be watching me out. You can't use them. Okay, he just says the same thing. Now nah, I'm good. Thank you though. I appreciate all that you do. All right, let's get end of let's finish this little section here. So, yeah, the guys one isn't too bad overall. Let's go and save it, and then we'll do their little encounter, and then get to the ladies. This fight isn't too bad either, as long as you have, as long as Jujin has his healing spell by this point, you should be fine. So, a gem embedded in the center of the altar emits a dim light. Do you wish to put your hand in the front of the offering? Go for it. What happens if you put your hand in something? It gets bit for boss time against Shishi itself. Well, it looks like it's a bunch of hands, so. Anyway, it's got 530 HP, 440 MP. Uh, it's fire elemental. It drops the Jade Larry item, uh, 1600 experience, and 4200 4, cash. So its ability, it has an ability that can hit everyone and cast the silence ability for. Um, which is, it can suck because obviously not having your items like if you want to cure the silence or whatever. Yeah, that's the big thing. But, uh, yeah, we just want to go into tiger mode and just prepare healing just in case we take too many hits. And that's pretty much how we're just going to deal with this guy. Yeah, see, we already do a decent amount of damage. And because he's fire elemental, um, Zhuzhen, unfortunately, is not going to do much damage to him, so. Yep. And we got two, and because we have the Raging Tiger, we have a couple of, uh, we have another source of healing just in case, so. Looks like it's just comboing us, so we'll probably heal with Zhu Jin after that. Yeah, better heal just in case if he gets, like, a good, uh, good crit on us, or he casts that fire ability, so. Yeah, I just wish the potion wasn't, uh... Didn't heal Max. Oh well. I just wish the potion didn't cost that much, dude. Though that's why Alice is a much more efficient healer than Jujin is, just because you know his healing doesn't cost, or her healing doesn't cost as much by far. But yeah, as long as we get a decent hitting with the Raging Tiger, we should be able to um, finish him off pretty efficiently. If I block, I can survive another hit, even if he casts his fire match because Zhu Zhen's fire elemental, so he won't take as much damage if he actually, if he decides he wants to cast his actual fire attack. The flaming arm of death! And yeah, this would have cast the uh, silent spell, which it did on um, uh, Yuri, but well, luckily, it's not a big deal for him, so. Yeah, we do lose out on our healing possibilities, but really, the person I wanted to make sure didn't get hit by that is Zhu Zhen, because he's our healer for this fight. So. It's kind of cruel that they make this guy fire elemental, because then it means if you, for some reason, just want to go all out on him, um, you just have to, with, like, his magic, well, tough out of luck, you're not going to do as much damage as you'd like, you know? Luckily, his physical attack isn't too bad. I mean, it hurts, but I don't know. But it's not that we can't uh, handle. Even the fire really didn't do that much damage. Not really. And there he goes. He falls. So, yeah, nothing too heinous. Yeah, the whole loss of items seems bad at first. But if you know what you're doing, you, you can do this. I don't even remember having this much trouble when I first played. So, get all these items. Nice. And everyone gains a level. And we get some fire elemental. So. Well, that wasn't too bad after all. 
Phew, I'm so glad that's over. I guess it's the lady's turn next. Meow, you got through Dian Qian's court so quickly. You really are an absolute sage. Then just wait right there, meow. The next door next to Niwan Palace won't open just yet, meow. Will it open? Will it? Will it open yet? All right, meow. It's your turn, meow. I'll open the door to Jian Palace. Your special skills have been sealed away by Master Xiao Feng. Yeah, the boys had to deal with items. The girls can't use their special skills, so yeah, Alice is kind of worthless. <laughs> here because that we can't use our healing abilities so we had to use items and stuff like that so uh yep i mean we can use them outside of combat but not in combat what we can't use magic that's so rude okay then beyond the door is yang palace meow chalak well, he's gonna wish. Uh, you're gonna have to wish us luck, viewers. Will Alice and Margaret be able to get through their fight with Alice being like a non-entity without her spells? And but Margaret's got a gun. Maybe we'll be fine. But find out what happens next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>